What's good? This is Marcus DeFingas, D-A-F-I-N-G-A-Z, back with Audio Plugin Deals. We have another great deal for you. Today, we're going to be talking about a new drum library and an 808 library that you can use in your music productions. Before we get into that, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the bell notification to be notified of upcoming deals, new posts here on the Audio Plugin Deals YouTube page. Let's get into it. We're talking about Brahma ape shit drums. We're going to be talking about ape shit 808s. It could be called apes hit, but I'm pretty sure that's not what it's called. Um, if this is the same Brahma that I'm familiar with, I was I've been using his drums for over a decade now. I first came across the trauma uh, Brahma drum libraries, all kinds of different drum sounds and uh, macaroni boxes. He would go in his kitchen and make all kinds of drum kits out of just stuff he found around the house. It was great. I still have those libraries and still use them to this day. Great to see him. Uh, evolve his um, platform to different plugins and things. So it was actually uh, great for me to have this opportunity to review um, some of his other stuff that he's been able to evolve to over the years. I'm going to start with the drum plugin <laughs> right here. Um, as you can see up top, we have a mixer, we have uh, drum pads, we have envelope and effects. So you basically have those four sections and then you also have a volume knob up top with the mixer you can adjust how loud or quiet these different elements are you have four percussions you have crash hi-hat snare two kicks um and actually you have two snares another hi-hat another crash so you have um different elements there the pads are actually the sounds from the drum kit you have different drum kits here you can load up uh from the instrument list um right now i am on the primal tap this is what that sounds like and i'm just clicking the pads of course i can use my keyboard so if you have a MIDI keyboard, you can plug that into your DAW and get right into, into using it there. You have an ADSR envelope. You might be familiar with that from other plugins. If you're not familiar, attack is how long before the note attacks. For some sounds, it might not really do too much there. Decay is how long the, the, the sound will decay after. Sustain is how long the sound will sustain. And release is how long the sound will continue to play after you release the note. Um, so you can play with those different things there. Usually with drum sounds, I pretty much don't do too much with the envelope on drum sounds. I pretty much like them outside of the box, uh, right out the box how they sound um what i might play with are the effects so we have reverb we have pitch and we have filter i'm gonna play a kick and what i can do is let me duplicate this so i don't mess, actually mess up the kit that um i recorded so i'm gonna turn the reverb up so just right there you hear some great great sound effects going on let me turn the pitch down So if you can automate that, you, you would uh, automate one of your parameters to control this knob. You can do different type of pitch effects on your snare or percussion sounds, all kinds of rolls and things, especially for like trap music. Then you have a filter, so you can have a low pass filter. As you see, it's cutting out some of those highs there. It's a really powerful plugin where it has a lot of stuff built in where you don't have to go into another plugin for reverb, for pitching, or for the filters. Let me just play a beat. So really great sounds out the box. Let's go to, um, we'll play the infinite kit. Um, some great sounds. Let me go to, I'm just messing around, the bully kit. All right, I'll play one more for you. Then we gotta go to the 808. So we have the uh, motions. So again, some great sounds there. Let's get to the 808s. Um, that is the drum beats. We're gonna go to 808s right here. I'm gonna duplicate that so I'm not messing up what I already have recorded. And here with the 808s, you actually have a lot less because the 808s are just, just right out the box, they sound incredible. You have ADSR, which we went over earlier. You do have Glide, which I think should be included in every 808 plugin. But once you get this, you probably don't need any other 808 because look at all these 808 sounds you have here. You can choose a sound, you can dial into it um, using the Glide, the ADSR. And then if you wanna add other plugins, you can do that too. But let's just go with Alpha 808 right out the box. So you hear you hear how that sounds. It already has a weight. If we adjust the glide, you hear it sliding a little bit. If we turn that all the way up. 
That's just how long it takes to glide to that next note. You probably wouldn't lead it all the way up unless you're doing some really, really great sound effects, sound design type things. Usually you're gonna stay under the halfway mark for that. Um, let's go to, I'm gonna play a couple of these backwoods. I like that. Um, let's go to elephant. And these are 808s that have character. They have, um, like, of course, they have the, the bottom end and they have some weight to it, but they also have character. You hear this one has a little bit of air noise in it. Um, let's go to Jumanji or Jungle. And you can even use it more as like an effect. Even if you don't hear a lot of the low end in there, you can use it as an effect. We'll go on the right side here. We'll play a couple of these. Monkey Mouth. What that sounds like and what I would use it for is probably like a dance hall reggae beat. Reggae dance hall, that's, that's exactly perfect for that. We'll go to Raccoon. Um, great names too. I'm gonna go to Taipan. Uh, I'll play two more for you, Walrus. And then the last one, we're going to play Zulu or Z yeah, Zulu. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play a beat that I created using these sounds. Uh, I have a drum beat. Um, this is what the drum beat I have using the, uh, what kit am I using here? The Primal Tap, Primal Trap. And I have 808s, 808s coming in right here. My fingers on the beat. Or uh, hi-hats, I meant the hi-hats. With the hi-hats, I actually have some effects from Logic going in using step effects in here. I'm not gonna go over that plugin, but this is a built-in Logic plugin that I have added to the hi-hats to add some of that fun stuff going on. And then we have percussion added onto that. We'll play that right here. And the fingers on the beat. And then we have the 808. This is the Jumanji 808. I need, need some bars on this. And, the fingers on the beat. and then I'm going to show you what I added. Just a piano from uh, Stock Logic and a pad from Logic Alchemy. And that's the beat. So I'm going to let that beat ride out. Um, and uh, shout out again to Brahma. Shout out to these libraries, the Ape Shit 808, Ape Shit Drum um, libraries. Definitely check it out. I didn't tell you how much it is. It is normally... $137, I believe, if I'm thinking about it right. It's usually over $130. You can get it for $29.99 for this deal. $29.99 is a great deal. Um, it's over $100. Dollars and this is over a hundred dollar discount savings that you can get again $29.99. So for under $30, you have access to all these 808s. Remember, there's a lot of 808s. I didn't even count how many 808s, but there's a lot in there. You have a lot of drum sounds in the actual drum library itself. Um, because remember that each of these libraries have uh what is this 12 sounds built in, and then you can adjust the sounds according to um the ADSR, you can add effects to it. So you have so many you have a built-in mixer in there, so you don't have to uh uh, multi out your different sounds. You have all this built into the plugin. So you have the drum beat, you have the 808. Definitely check it out. Shout out to Brahma. Shout out to audio plugin deals. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to play this as we roll out. All right. Be safe and be well, everyone. Peace.